Hi, my name is Leandro Facchinetti, and in this video, I want to show you a new script I wrote to set up the auto mixer in Reaper. If you are new to this and you don't know what the auto mixer for Reaper is, there are other videos in this channel in which I show you what it is for, how you can use it, and how to set it up. But since then, since those videos that are linked in the description below, I wrote a rescript that sets everything up automatically so you can make things easier for yourself. And if you just want a summary of what the auto mixer does is if you have multiple microphones open in the same room, then people are going to speak into their microphone, but their voice will also be picked up by other microphones and also it picks up noise in the room and the auto mixer is going to adjust the gain in the different microphones according to who is speaking. So you can get rid of this bleed and the noise in the room will be more consistent as if you had only one microphone being shared by people. That's the intent of the auto mixer, that, that's what it does for you. And if you want to set this up in Reaper, then you have to do some weird route in between tracks. And that's what this new rescript is for. So if you want to set this up, all you have to do is select the tracks that you want to be auto mixed. And then with the newest version of the auto mixer, you can come here to the actions list and look for auto mixer setup. And when you run this, it will do the grouping of the tracks. It will do the routing of the different channels. It will do all that for you. And you just end up with the auto mixer already working. That's all you have to do to set up the auto mixer. Under the hood, what this action is doing is still the same thing as I described in the original video. So if you want to check this out, then this, this parent track here is a multi-channel track. So I have four microphones that are stereo tracks. So in total, I have eight channels on the parent and each child is routing to different channels in the parent. So this is routing to channels one and two. This is routing to channels three and four and so on. And even if you have child tracks that are not stereo, but multi-channel, they are four channels, six channels, whatever, then this script will notice that and it will set all the children to the same number of tracks or the same number of channels, really. So if you have one track that is two channels and another track that is four channels, then it will take all the tracks and set them to four channels. And then it will set the parent to, in this time, in this case, four times four, because there are th four tracks of four channels, so 16 uh, channels on the parent, and it will do the assignment of the track uh, of the channels to the parent correctly. It will just do everything you need. So if you don't want to care about how to set things up and you don't even want to fully understand what's going on, you can just select the tracks, use the uh, rescript I created, and it will do the work for you. It will open up the effect and it would be just working. And these settings you probably don't even need to change. So that's all you need to do to set up the auto mixer. And if you have not installed the auto mixer before, then you should check the link in the description below to find the repack repository. You can copy this URL, come here to extensions, repack, import repositories and paste that URL. And if you have already installed the auto mixer before, but you don't have this latest update, then come here to repack synchronize packages and you should get the latest version that includes the rescript to do the setup. And that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching and I hope you make use of the auto mixer and uh, auto mix your podcasts, your roundtable videos. You can even auto mix video as I showed you in the previous video about the auto mixer. So yeah, check that out and I hope you have fun. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you on the next one.